So when I clean up, it gets messier. Ow. Yeah, so um, my room's pretty messy right now. I got my affirmations up. It's a wonderful life. I came up here and Missy is there. But um yeah, I got a lot to I got a lot of stuff to do. Oh. I was going to I'm going to read this book. It's funny. I told my mom one thing I looked up and it was worth listing, but it's restricted on Amazon and so um, it's a book on happiness. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to read this. And my mom started laughing and she's like, uh, you don't read. And I was thinking, well, maybe I'll read. Anyways, I, this book I want to read. Like, I think I could read this book every day. It says, yes is an attitude. It is optimistic, passionate, and positive. Yes is a chance at something better. It is a dream, a bold action, and an inspiration Yes has amazing powers. It can open doors, build confidence, and move mountains. But beware, there will always be critics who will tell you no. They will tell you no to those hopes and dreams. They will tell you no to those ideas and aspirations. How will you respond? Will you shrink back to your fears and insecurities? Or fears and insecurities? Or will you rise up to your potential? Your life is waiting for your answer. And then I like this part. On the back it says... There is a world of endless possibilities waiting behind every yes. So I think I could read this book every day. Maybe I should just start by reading it one day. Oh, let me read the first few pages. Um, this is written by Kobe Yamada. And Kobe Yamada, I actually reached out to him a while back online. And he sent me a whole box of stuff for free. I made a video I posted on YouTube. Um, but it was really cool. And um, they're all like positive it's a bunch of positive products that they sent me, which was cool. Um, and some of them ha that these little cards that they gave me, I handed out and I handed them all out. I need to order more, but, um, they're called thoughtfuls and I would hand them out to people. And on the back I wrote promoting pine kindness and positivity. And then, um, in, in the inside you pop it open and there's a quote inside and I would just hand it out to people. And I had a hunt. I probably had like a hundred and I handed them all out and people liked them and I, it made me feel good. It got me out of my head. Anyways, there will always be critics and while they can come in many forms, the ones out there are sometimes nothing compared to the critics in our own heads. As we all know, we can be hard on ourselves. Doubts, fears, and negativity are part of life and can at times feel insurmountable. Sometimes all we hear is the negative. We focus on the critical things they say about us, but who are they anyway? Why do we give them any power? Why would we believe the worst that is said about us instead of trusting the best that is inside us? The key is to believe in yourself, to trust the potential that is inside of you, and to put it into everything that you do because this is it. You only live once, and while you may not be able to determine the length of your life, you can do plenty about how you choose to live it. Life is waiting right here, right now. Are you ready? And um, they will tell you no. They will tell you that they have concerns. They will say that you're not quite right or not good enough. They will explain. They will explain. They just don't want you to be disappointed. They will say you're not that special. A few people have told me that I'm special and when I have a hard time, I think back to that. Um, they will tell, or will you tell them that what this world needs are people who doubt their doubts more than they fear their fears? They will tell you that you don't have what it takes. They will tell you to give up they will tell you it's just not possible. Will you tell them that the world is filled with countless examples of those who have beaten unbelievably long odds? Yes, the answer is yes. They will tell you that you just don't measure up. Will you tell them that reality is in the eye of the beholder? I like that. Reality is, yeah, you know, I think about this a lot. We all get to choose our own reality. 
and our re everyone's reality is different and our thoughts affect our reality, our beliefs are affect our reality, but our beliefs and thoughts can be changed. And that's what I'm working on doing with myself. Um, I'm not going to read this whole book on here, but I really like this company that makes this book. It's called, the company's called Compendium. And, um, let me see. Oh, so these right up here, see where it says dream, pop open cards. And then there's another one, happy day. The, those are things that they sent, Compendium sent me. And then I try to put like as much pause. Oh, here's, okay, hold on. This is, that's me right there. But here's the inside of one. It says, if people never did silly things, nothing intelligent would ever get done. Ludwig Wittgenstein or Wittgenstein. I don't know. Anyways, so, and then I have this. I try to have a bunch of affirmations up around my room to help my thinking because I struggle with negative thinking and overthinking. So this says, live bright, be bold, and sparkle. This says, even if you're on the right track, you'll get over, yeah, sorry, you'll get run over if you just sit there. And then, like, sometimes when I'm driving on the freeway, I think about that. It's like, I got, you got to keep moving when you're on the freeway. Like, you don't just stop. So sometimes like what I would do when I get home is I just sit in my head and overthink everything and I, then I get paralyzed and then I get exhausted because mental like just overthinking leads to mental exhaustion, you know, in my opinion. Anyways, um, and then I wanted to show something else. Alex got this for me. This is a Paradise Falls um, little coin collecting jug. And that's from the movie Up. Pixar is Up. And then, hold on. Then um, I wanted to show this, my bathroom, the positive stuff that I have. So like I made these, I just put a bunch of affirmations on them and sometimes I carry them with me throughout the day and it helps my thinking. Here's another one. Um, and then I had Dennis at the shop at DB's, DB's tailors make this for me it says hustle your heart out and then we um we made this one too called positively me and then um mateo at rad fabs made this for me it says let's give it a shot and then i have this up here it says i'm pretty much one of the best people i know and then um i just have other little i have it's too much there's too much clutter in here and this is a shield bottle <laughs> And then, you know, sometimes I put on perfume. Like, I've learned to attach positive meaning to certain things. So, like, and then when I get ready in the morning, I put on my jewelry and I'm wearing, I wear a necklace that says, um, oh, look, I put this on the back of my phone. It says love. Um, and then this right here, it says once, it's kind of blocked. Once we choose hope, everything is possible. Christopher Reeve. I've had this up here for, like, since like 2004 and 2004 is when I was struggling with uh, heroin addiction and um, I got off of that that took a few years to get off of that and I've been off of that since 2006 so and I've been watching Demi Lovato's documentary and that's been kind of inspiring and helpful and I can relate to a lot of that stuff um, and then let's see Oh yeah, this right here says express your, this is like, I like when there's positivity on products. So love is love, express yourself. And then here's something, I, I made this one too, be brave. Just I just put a bunch of affirmations on it. I'm just, I got these affirmation stickers. Oh, and then I just wanted to show one more thing over here. This is something that I started when I was in rehab years ago it was probably in like 2005 or something like that but um i never finished it so maybe i'll finish it some of it got ripped but it says emotionally attached wild junky battle fever you can't sweat out love the skin you're in embrace life day by day the change you deserve fun it's not the destination it's the journey we got some sandals there and then we have um what does this say the meaning of life, Bella, believe anything is possible. And uh, yeah, that's it for now.